Hi, my name is David Redboard, and I am one of the independent business owners who is part of the Community of Healing Practitioners at Affordable Healing Arts in New Orleans. You can check us out at affordablehealingarts.com. My website is akashagarehi.com. So I do a lot of different healing methods, uh, guided meditation and breath work and energy healing and inner child and core belief work. And self-care I have found to be incredibly important. For myself, I like to spend time in the morning and I have a little prayer book that I like to use and I pick out one prayer as a new prayer every day. And then I spend a few minutes doing some grounding yoga postures. There are, these are postures that are specifically for your root chakra which connect you more to the earth. And that really helps me to set the mood for the day and to stay calm. <laughs> and then after that, I do some meditation. Lately I've been doing Deepak Chopra's and Oprah's 21 day meditation process, which has been super, super, super nice. Uh, and during the meditation, I just have some wonderful experiences. Another favorite thing of mine to do is I like to bathe, actually. I like to bathe about three times a week. So I'll spend at least 20 minutes in the tub. I'll pour some. <laughs> Got Jack Fontana over there. Jack Fontana also works here. Is it, Jack, what is your website? Is it jackfontana.com? Yes. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Jack has been doing breath work for 30 years, so it's worth checking out his work, website also. Uh, he's a spring chicken in case you're wondering. <laughs> but, um, um, so, okay, uh, let's see, you're bathing. So I pour a little uh, little sea salt, a little table salt, which is the same thing, uh, Epsom salt, baking soda, a little bit of ginger and turmeric in the bathtub, and I sit in there for about 20 minutes, uh, or as much as like 40 minutes an hour. And really, the ginger makes you sweat out toxins, the turmeric brings down inflammation, which we all have, it's a fun cultural thing, woohoo. And uh, it really helps me to ground and relax and just cleanse uh, as I go through my week. Other things that I like to do, I like to go for a walk in the park a few times a week. That really helps me to ground and connect with nature. Uh, it can be a little tough to do in the city, but that's why I go to the park. Uh, in New Orleans, we have these lovely, lovely parks. City Park, uh, let's see here, Autobahn Park, and Louis Armstrong Park is also very nice. Um, they're all very different from each other. If you go to Audubon Park, you, I highly recommend the Tree of Life. And if you go to City Park, I highly recommend the Chime Tree. Uh, let's see here, let's see. But it's funny that you should ask me about self-care and self-love because I think that self-care can be indicative of self-love, but it itself is not self-love. Self-love also has a lot to do with how you talk to yourself, the inner self-talk that you have, and the types of things that you tell yourself, and also judgments that you make about yourself, and whether or not you have compassion for yourself as you go about your day, and you see yourself making a judgment. Can you have compassion for yourself? You're interacting with that other, with that other person, and you notice that maybe you're feeling a certain way. Can you have compassion for that other person and yourself? Because they're you too, right? Uh, what else is self-love? Self-love is doing what you need to do to feel good, right? So whatever that is, as long as it's not harming anyone else, doing what you need to do to feel good, whether that's any of the things that I mentioned or anything else, like taking a break, going on vacation, drinking some tea, anything like that, but mainly making sure that your needs are met before you try and meet the needs of others because when your needs are met, then you're able to serve others from a cup that's full and you can serve them with the overflow, which is much better than serving them from a cup that's running low and you have, and you have nothing to be able to really share with them. That is a mouthful, but that is uh, what I'd like to share about my take on self-love and self-care. Thank you so much.